Well, here I am in Helsinki with uh, the team of coaches at HVS. Uh, you can see some of the kids in the Red Court program behind me. This morning, uh, I was working with the, the whole team of coaches and we had some interesting conversations around the length of rallies. And uh, we talked about the value of uh, long rallies as opposed to short rallies and what the benefits was or the benefits were of having kids playing long rallies. Now, uh, every now and again, I hear coaches say to me, oh, my, my player is doing really, really well because he or she hit a 100-shot rally. And um, I've always sort of thought that that's a bit of a strange uh, like badge of honor, if you like, um, for a couple of reasons. Now, the first one is um, that I, first of all, I, I think it's very rare that we have long rallies in matches. It, it does happen, but we all know that uh, typical rallies are much shorter, four, five, six shots generally. Some obviously even shorter than that, one or two shots. Uh, of course, long rallies happen, but less often. So that's one thing. Secondly, with young players, the longer the rally, uh, I would say, uh, the lower the quality gets or the quality of the rally tails off very quickly uh, once we get into uh, longer rallies. Um, while there might be a little bit more quality in the early shots, maybe in the first two, three, four, five shots, something like that, the quality of the rally will tail off very quickly. That's the second thing. And the third thing is I, I also wonder from a tactical point of view whether actually uh, a 50-shot rally or a 100-shot rally is actually something to celebrate or is that actually a player who's missing 20 or 30 or 40 opportunities to actually finish the point? So I, I question the value of long rallies uh, for a number of reasons. Now, some of you watching this and listening to this might think, well, but there are some values to long rallies. And I think if it's about mm, some form of endurance, whether it's physical or mental endurance, okay, I get it. Um, perhaps if it's some type of fun game where it's like a survival uh, game where it's a competition to see who can get the longest rally, I get that as well. But in everyday training, my strong belief is that there is far more value in multiple short rallies rather than few long rallies. So, for example, one rally of 50 or 10 rallies of five. Now, to me, there's no, no contest there. 10 rallies of five shots is going to give us high quality, much higher quality than one rally of 50. And not only that, but it's going to allow the kids to practice the really important parts of the rally. So 10 rallies of five means that there are going to be 10 serves, 10 returns, 10 ball three, assuming that there is actually a five shot rally happening and that the rally doesn't run out after one or two shots. A 50 shot rally equals one serve, one return. And then I would argue that a lot of the shots as we get into the longer part of the rally, the later stages of the rally actually are less and less worth anything and of less and less value. So maybe that's something for you to think about in your coaching. How do I structure my rallies? How do I uh, celebrate success in terms of the length of the rally and the value and the quality that we're getting from each rally? And I would suggest very strongly that actually lots of short rallies practiced at high intensity are much more value uh, to the player than one or two very long rallies where the quality is questionable. So what I would say is, um, and we were talking about this this morning on court with the coaches here in Helsinki, that um, it could be that what you do is you structure a rally of five where the players are required to work at high intensity. Now, obviously, that intensity is relative to the age and their standard. These are Red Bull kids. So intensity to them is completely different to intensity if we were talking about national standard players, for example. right? But if we're working with young players like this, then... A rally of five, then a little break to reset, refocus, repeat the goal or the teaching point. Then another rally of five, repeat again, reset. Then another rally of five. And then probably after three sets of five like that, we will start to see the quality tailing off again. So then it might be time for a longer one or two minute break where they get a quick drink. We reset and then we go again with three sets of five. There is no value in trying to run the kids into the ground. And that can easily be done with a 50 or 100 shot rally. 
it could equally easily be done if we have too many continuous sets of five. So if we go like five, eight, 10 sets of five, then again, the quality is gonna go down because these kids will get very tired very quickly. They lose focus, they lose concentration, and therefore we are losing the impact and the benefit of what we're doing. So I would think about chunking it very carefully. I think five works really well. It could be three or four. I'm also a big believer in serve, return, ball three and finish. That also works really well. We get really high impact, really high quality, okay? But we can maintain quality because of the short nature of the rally. Reset, but then give them a little break after maybe three or four sets of, whether it's three, four, five shot rallies, whatever you want it to be. So let me leave that with you to think about, reflect on in your own coaching and how you go about structuring your rally activities. And as always, if you wanna leave your thoughts and your comments, You've got the space down below here and I'd be great to hear your thoughts and comments and of course our feedback on any comments that you put in the, in the comments box.